Hey guys, it's Melissa and Olivia. and Olivia and we are going to make a reverse canvas sign today. Do you know what reverse canvas is? No. Okay. So this is like a five or 10 minute craft. It's super easy. They come out awesome. You can make lots of different variations of this. Um, and you are essentially putting HTV um, on a canvas. So this is a stretched canvas that is on, you know, like a wood frame and we are going to make it a reverse canvas. So the great thing about these canvases when you actually use it with this heat press is you don't even, you could make it a right, you could just do, you don't even have to do reverse canvas. These fit directly on this nine by 12, which is great. You could just, you know, do your heat um, transfer vinyl that way. But instead we want to make it so it's framed out. So what we are gonna do is take the canvas off of the frame. Okay, so I'm gonna move a little bit closer so you can kind of see what's, actually I can't move too close because we are, um, have a heat press and a glue gun um, warming up. But I can bring you a little bit closer here so you can see kind of what's going on. So Liv, um, show them, we already cut our HTV, so show them that. So this is just um, the HTV that's gonna go on there. It says sip happens, it's okay to whine about it. Obviously a pun on um, for wine lovers, right? It's from the Big Sign Bundle, if you're interested in that, it comes with um, over 60 designs and then also a bunch of sign mock-ups. Okay, so here is our canvas, and I actually started this one already, but um, it has the staples here. So a lot of people end up fighting with these staples. We are not gonna do that. What we are actually going to do is cut right on the outside of the staples. Well, this is just an X-Acto knife, and we are going to cut on the outside of the staples so that we can cut away the um, canvas from the frame, all right? So, Olivia, do you wanna do the other two sides? Okay, so just cut, um, you wanna cut on this side, and then that way we can fold yeah, you, you, yep, you need to do here below the staples and here on the outside. And then what we're gonna do is we will use our heat press to apply this and then we'll put this all together and you'll see that the that the frame will end up being on the opposite side. You got it? Yeah. So this way, the staples actually and this little piece are gonna stay on the frame and you're not worrying about that. Um, but you can still remove the um, canvas from the frame. All right, yep, get that little part, cool. Just turn that, okay. This is like a little uneven and it's kind of bothering me, so I'm gonna, okay. Now you are gonna wanna heat, um, you are gonna want your glue gun or some, whoops, or some other type of pretty strong adhesive and you'll see why in a minute, got it? Okay, so now the frame comes completely off and um, you can see the staples and this part of the frame are, or in this part of the canvas are still there, but that's okay because this is the part that we are now going to show. All right, so don't you don't need to use that anymore. What we're gonna do is we are going to now position this HTV right onto um, the canvas, okay? So actually bring that back up here because we wanna make sure that it's centered and level and even, I mean. Let's see, there's a little piece of something right here. Okay. All right, so place the frame back over it. Um, so I think we need to move that like this. Okay, so we have this here. Now you can re remove the frame, all right? And our HTV is on our piece of canvas and we're just gonna place this right on our heat press and apply the heat. Now I have, oh, Olivia, on the other side of the printer is a pressing pad. So if you can grab that. No, right here, this white thing looks like a giant mouse pad. Okay, okay so we, we can use that if we need to. I'm gonna um, try not to and just um, right now just try to use just my heat press. I think I got good pressure on that. <laughs> Actually, I have to come around the other side. Okay, so we have, I'm using a nine by 12. I use this one a lot just because it gives, it's easy for me to move around. But what we're gonna do, Liv, you stay right there. We are going to keep this all in place. You can use um, high temperature tape if you need to, to keep it in place. Place it directly on your press like this and 
we are going to place Teflon over top and then 20 seconds, okay? So if this is 305, it's actually like closer to 300 right now for, for 20 seconds. And when it's done, the we will reframe it. And I'll show you how to do that. That's where the glue gun comes in. <clears throat> You're gonna wanna do that part, right? Oh, sure. Sure, okay. I'm sore. You're sore. Okay, so now our HTV is on our our canvas. We are, oh, whoops, sorry. Done with this. We're going to turn this off. Okay, got it? Yeah. And can you peel that transfer tape off of there? Nope, not anymore. Got it? See what she's doing. Now you can actually put your design on this side if you want, or some people like this side, which is a little like more looks like um like the tan kind of canvas. All right, so we're done with that, and now all we need to do is reapply our frame. Okay, so keep your exacto um, close by because this we're going to need this in a second. So what we want to do now is flip the whole thing over and we are going to put, Liv, I'm telling you mostly, okay. we're going to put um, glue okay. along here and we are going to stretch our canvas on there. Now we wanna make sure that it's in the right <coughs> position, okay? So this is where we need it. If you wanted to paint or stain your frame, you obviously wanna do that before you're doing this next step, okay? Yep, so I'm gonna hold this top. You're gonna take the glue gun. We're gonna, whoops. We're going to do one side at a time. Okay, so put some down just so we got it in place. Okay. And, okay, so let's just get the corner in place. Keep it, you wanna keep it so it stretches, it's dripping. And then you can do the rest. All right, so put a line of glue here. Do you all want to the be way? the stretcher and I'll be oh, the... No, I got it. All okay. Way. Yep. All the way down. Press this as you're going down. Press the back. Yeah. Okay. Now, the trick here is... It's okay. Keep going. The trick here is that you need to pull the canvas taut as you're applying and only work in small sections. Okay. So now, from the back, we want to press down. Okay. So now, just rotate and you're gonna do this side. Okay. Okay, get that little middle section. Yep, okay. Now I'm still pulling taunt in all directions and we need to do the last bit. Well, do this part first. Okay. Yep. Okay. And then this side. Now, those of you who are coming in late, this is a reverse canvas, the easy way. Um, we just used an X-Acto knife to cut outside the outside the staples, so we didn't even worry about pulling the staples off. Okay. And then we used a design from the big sign um, SVG bundle on Sofancy to make our sign. Okay, so now the only thing we have left, we're all done with this, I'll actually pull it back around. The only thing we have left to do is remove, huh? I wanna do it. Okay, is remove this excess um, canvas. So what, Olivia, you can do this, but if you take this and kind of hold your X-Acto at an angle, you can get it kind of under the frame, okay? You might have to do it a couple times, all right? And pull that away and do that obviously on all four sides. Now, if you wanna make the back of your design, the back of your frame a little nicer, you can use a piece of like craft paper or something like that, and I need to trim this a little bit more, and then you could um, you know, fold this down and then reframe that out. But here, you wanna do the rest, okay? 
All right, so that's how that works. Now, some of you are asking questions. I'm gonna pull the camera out so you can kind of still see Olivia doing that while you're, while I'm also not cut off at some weird, awkward angle. Um, how are you? Good. Yeah. So the other thing is if you want to, okay, sorry about that. Um, so if you want to put a hanger on there, you can just tack a hanger on the back. I actually love command strips. I use them. I have a whole, um, gallery wall all made with, uh, command strips. So that way I don't have to have holes in my wall. Um, but you can, they work on these canvases as well. And again, you could paint or stain this frame if you wanted to. Um, <clears throat> you could put the HTV on the back side of the frame. So it's, you know, that more tan color. There's lots of different, um, wait, it's okay. This is our craft table. It's fine that it's getting, yeah. Okay. So we'll want to trim this up a little bit more, um, just to, to clean it up a little bit, but that's how, um, it comes up. So this is, you know, the reverse canvas. You can obviously do it this way or this way. Super easy way to do this. You're not futzing with staples. You are not re-stapling it on there. Um, and they come out really, really nice. And I prefer to use HTV on canvas just because it's so easy. But I did post, um, was it yesterday? I can't even remember. It might have been yesterday or it was last week, early, late last week, um, how to three tricks to getting adhesive uh, vinyl to stick to canvas because I know sometimes you guys want to do that as well. Okay. Was that easy or what? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. I don't think this is one you'll be hanging in your room. No. No. Yeah. No, of course not. Okay. All right, guys. Have a fabulous day. I threw a link up for a step by step um, if you need the step by step on the blog. And also, um, if you're interested in the big sign bundle, again, the design here is um, part of that. Sip happens. It's okay to whine about it. Okay, I swear, this, the wine industry is probably up there with the craft industry and home fitness industry during this pandemic. It has to be. If there's no way, it's not, right? We're all just trying to survive. My gym did open back up, so I have been going to that, so thankfully. Okay. All right, guys, have a fabulous day. We'll see you soon. Do you want me to end it? Yeah, sure. Have an idea? Oh, I could.